This Razer Blade 14 is built so, 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 so well. If you are much like myself, which I hope that can only be a good thing or maybe it's a bad thing. Anyway, if you are much like myself, then you want all the power all the time, whether it's being stationary at the desk, on a long train ride to your next train journey, or even just working outdoors in a garden or at the park. Having all the power all the time is something I really like having. And for the most part, when it comes to using Windows devices to have all the power, you need to be stationary and pretty much using a desktop PC. If you want to have all the power or close to that same power you get on desktop in say a 13, 14, or even a 15 or 17 inch laptop form factor, then you pretty much have to sacrifice a decent amount. Yeah, that being the case then, that just means that's pretty much end of the discussion. If you want all the power, then desktop is the way to go. And for portability, you pretty much have to give that up or there's pretty much no way of having both. Hmm, that's not entirely true because we may just have a laptop that breaks the mold and takes on the challenge of giving you all the power you need from a desktop into a very compact 14 inch laptop form factor. Welcome to Open Windows, where we present to you the Razer Blade 14. Just to get the premise of the style of this video, it will be more of an overview, meaning we'll be giving you everything we think you need to know about the Razer Blade 14. We are also at the time of this recording running the Windows 11 Insider build on the Razer Blade 14. But just to state that this laptop will be upgradable to the full version of Windows 11. Disclaimers out of the way, let's jump straight into this very interesting compact gaming laptop from Razer. As always, let's start from the outside and work our way in with the design and build. And I have to say, this Razer Blade 14 is built so, 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 so well. This is honestly what Razer is well known for, using nothing but top premium materials. It's thin, light, weighing no more than 1.78 kg, and it's made from a very high grade unibody aluminum, anodized and finished in this high quality matte black color. Opening the lid of the laptop is both smooth and sturdy thanks to a very well engineered hinge. Having previously used the Razer Blade Stealth 13 from before, and although not here for direct reference, going from memory, the Blade 14 feels no different in size and weight, which is very impressive because when we get to the specs and performance packed into this little beast, you will definitely see why. Let's look at the ports arrangement for a moment. On the right hand side, you have a USB-C port, a USB-A port and a full size HDMI 2.1 port. On the left side, you have a power input for the included 230 watt power supply and a USB-A port, a USB-C port and a 3.5 millimeter audio port combo. What's a nice addition is both USB-C ports do support power delivery 3.0 charging, which is definitely a nice touch. And for a laptop to be this compact and portable, the port selection here are very excellent. Display wise, it's a 14 inch IPS LCD screen with a full HD resolution. And most importantly for a gaming laptop is that smooth 144 Hertz high refresh rate display. Most gaming laptops don't tend to have this feature as it's more reserved for premium Windows laptops, but we do have support for Windows Hello Face Unlock with the built-in infrared IR HD webcam. Nice one there, Razer. You have dual speakers here, so you can expect decent sound from your gaming and multimedia consumption. Looking at the keyboard and trackpad, it's a nice low profile keyboard with good key travel when typing. Full per key RGB backlighting is also on here, which can be changed and controlled in the Chroma Studio section of the Razer Synapse app. The trackpad is nice, big and smooth using premium glass surface material and Windows Precision drivers for accurate tracking in Windows 10 and 11 with the applications that support it. Now here comes one of my favorite parts, 
the specs and power. Back to what I said at the start of this video that this is where the Blade 14 breaks the mold and showcases how to basically have all the power of a desktop in the form of a 14 inch laptop and have it on the go. Breaking it down, this model we have here is rocking the AMD Ryzen 5900HX which is based on an 8 core and 16 thread design and can boost up to 4.6 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of internal SSD storage and graphics powered by the NVIDIA RTX 3060 with six gigabytes of video memory. Especially on the CPU and GPU side to have hardware this powerful and a form factor like the Blade 14 is nothing short of impressive. But remember, this is an overview, so we won't be benchmarking every game with all its settings tweaked. We will just be looking at some select games and how they perform showcasing the software experience in Windows 11 with Game Pass Ultimate, which does include Game Pass for PC. Now for the gaming and software experience. The foundation to that is the Windows 11 experience with the latest DirectX 12 API and services such as Game Pass Ultimate, which includes Game Pass for PC and gives you over 100 plus great games to play with day one release for first party studio games with the ability to cancel at any time, giving you, the user, the most flexibility and peace of mind. Windows 11 also brings support for auto HDR and direct storage. Now the three games we are going to use to showcase the performance of the Blade 14 are Gears 5, as you know, my personal favorite, Ori and the World of the Wisp, and Forza Horizon 4. Starting off with Gears 5, this is pushing the hardware to its limit while still giving you a very well optimized gameplay experience. Running at ultra settings at 1080p, the built-in benchmarking tools showed that you will be averaging 65 frames a second. Running at high settings, you will be averaging 93 frames a second, with medium averaging 103 frames a second and low averaging 120 frames a second. Next is Ori and the War of the Wisp. This game really showcases nice artistic game design with amazing color representation and focuses on being less demanding on your hardware, which means you can really enjoy the nice accurate colors of the IPS display. Using the higher settings, you will get 150 frames per second at 1080p which is a nice amount above 60 frames a second, so there is no need to reduce the settings for this game on the Blade 14. Last but not the least is Forza Horizon 4. This is another visually stunning and well-optimized looking game showcasing great car models and world environments. Running at ultra settings at 1080p, the built-in benchmarking tools showed that we average 116 frames a second, which is nicely in that triple digit FPS space. Running at high settings will average a healthy 127 frames a second, medium settings averaging 138 frames a second, and low averaging 149 frames a second. Now for the Razer Synapse app. It gives you control over things like the performance mode of the laptop when plugged in and when running on battery, imbalanced battery saver and gaming mode. You also have control over the fan speed either allowing the laptop to manage in auto mode or selecting your own fan speed in manual mode. And lastly, the Chroma Studio section of the Synapse app, which allows you to change and control the RGB backlighting of the keyboard. Battery-wise, it is powered by a 61.1 watt hour battery, which comes with the included 230 watt power adapter. And as stated before, both the USB-C ports do support power delivery of 3.0 charging as well. Razer does claim up to 12 hours of battery life, the battery life rating is dependent and subject to your usage, which can vary and affect the length of time. This also does not account for gaming, especially when unplugged, because this is still a gaming laptop. So to get maximum performance, you do need to make sure you are plugged in with the included power supply or else you will see a performance drop. So just bear that in mind. We've come to the end, which brings us to the question we always try to answer. 
Who is this razor blade 14 for? Simple enough, it's for me. <laughs> Look, all jokes aside, like I said at the beginning, if you are anything like myself who has been wanting nearly all the performance of a desktop, but in as compact of a form factor as possible to take it with you anywhere and everywhere, then this is what the Razer Blade 14 is all about. Just to think we've gotten here at this point where we have all this performance and a laptop of this size is really good and says it all. That covers it for this episode of Open Windows of the Razer Blade 14. As always, more gaming laptop overviews to come. Hope you all enjoyed this overview. This is Benjamin Obadji working with Microsoft and we will see you next time.